Hey everyone, Zori Lita back again. Just want to do another video. I'm still cleaning out my uh, my house and I've been going through boxes of stuff and this time it's video games. Don't worry, I didn't own that many, but I just thought I'd show you some of the old school games that I had. So Sonic the Hedgehog was for the Sega Genesis. Now, funny story, I'd never actually bought the Sega Genesis. Um, a family friend had a kid that got it from somebody else and he wasn't doing his homework, so his mom gave me the entire system, much to his chagrin, because I guess girls don't need to worry about studying. Um, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it was weird. So anyway, I ended up getting Sonic the Hedgehog uh, for the Genesis, and the game itself comes with a little manual and the cart. Very simple layout for the, the box. I really like these hard covers because they got, you could bang them up something fierce without them being destroyed like the paper ones. Now initially I never got uh, Sonic 2 because I'd already skipped to Sonic 3 by that point. By the time I got the games they were already way farther apart. But I did go back and I bought it at a, a used game store. So I really liked Sonic 2. I loved Tails. In fact I loved Tails so much I tried to design my own video game for him. More on that later, but um, yeah, so here's the classic uh, cover. Oops, I guess there's a receipt in here. Oh, haha, -ha. it's the secret cheat codes. Yeah, everybody who played these games, you know, up, down, up, down, up, 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 you know, A star, and then you could debug. That was one of the best parts of this. In fact, it unlocked layer levels that were later found in Sonic and Knuckles. So, uh, Sonic 3, that's this one I bought. This is like the first one I actually bought. I love Tails. Tails was cool. And, um, you know, it had a bunch of different uh, aspects of the new bonus level stages. Wow. Okay. So, you know, again, the book. And then the cart inside. And here's where they sort of get cheaper with packaging. Sonic and Knuckles. I mean, look, it's already beat up. And like I was saying, uh, a lot of the levels in here unlocked from Sonic 1, 2, and 3. And I had already found where these levels were by playing with the debug code. That was just kind of a cool thing. So then Sonic Spinball is when I learned that I had photosensitive epileptic type seizures. Because the camera movements bouncing up and down where Sonic is a spinball... And some of the flashing graphics in the background triggered seizures. So that was real fun. Uh, I did like the bonus levels, though, that had Sally and Rotor and all the other characters in it. Again, inside, there's a little poster in this one. Um, the gameplay was sluggish. It was a lot slower than any normal Sonic game, which in my benefit probably worked out better because, uh, yeah. But um, it was an interesting idea. It just needed some finesse. And of course, there's Earthworm Jim, who hasn't heard of Earthworm Jim. So I have the Genesis version. I think I did buy this one. Yes. Oh, yes. And then I had <laughs> cheat codes. Um, so Earthworm Jim. And that's the... Oh, sorry. The infamous Bubsy. That's the only other Genesis game I have. Bubsy. OMG, this game was so frustrating. One hit and you're dead. It was just like, why? Why? Um, simple game box art. Um, the cartridge just sits in here with the book. Fun fact, I actually made a niece and nephew character for Bubsy. And ironically, they showed up in a later game. Not that they copied me, but it was just kind of one of those, like, oh my gosh, that's weird. But yeah, this game, ugh, 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 ugh. Anyway, <laughs> moving right along, I ended up having to save up to buy a Super Nintendo because my mom's ex got me a regular Nintendo, which I'm not sure where those games are, because it was cheaper, because it was on sale, because it was discontinued. Either way, I saved up for like months and months and months, I think over like a year, just to get the Super Nintendo. So it came with the Mario All-Stars and Super Mario World. Don't think it came in a box. I think it was just straight with the, the game system itself. 
I never got into Mega Man like other people did, but I really liked X for some reason. Like, there was just something about the X games that were just more interesting, and I liked the art more. Um, it's pretty simple. I think I only got X1, but I liked the idea of the Reploids and the war. Bonus points for the fact that those little heady things that in the Fox cartoon would give Mega Man power-ups, they're actually baddies in here, and I was like... Damn it, it got kicked, killed, but whatever. Yoshi's Island. Um, it was interesting. You basically play as Yoshi with a baby. And there's a baby Bowser and all that. I was like, eh, okay, whatever. <laughs> then I got the RPG because I just liked Mario. Unfortunately, I didn't really like RPGs, so I never actually finished this one. You know, I don't know. I still have it, because so I can never throw things away like that. Then the Buster Bust Loose from Tiny Toons. I remember that the gameplay was a lot better than the Nintendo one. That one was heck on earth, because, wow, if you could get to the end of that game, you were ace. I got all the way to the, um, the Star Wars knockoff ship. Yeah, that was hard. Also, Bab's Big Break for Game Boy. Um, this was also a hard one. I don't know why the gameplay was so much harder on the Tiny Toons game. It's like, y'all want me to work real hard for this. But I did end up beating it, I think, at least two or three times. So that was cool. Then, of course, the Mar the Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I loved uh, the Weasel characters. So I got the game, but I don't think I ever fixed it. Or fixed it. Finished it, sorry. So... There's that. Then here's the other game I was mentioning. I don't even know if I can open it. Oh, there we go. Tales Big Adventure. Or Tales Adventure. My idea was called Tales Big Adventure, and I drew a bunch of sprites and level designs, but, you know. And then, um, by the way, this is for the Game Gear. I got that as a gift, but the thing sucked batteries like candy, so... I ended up not being able to play it very often because he just didn't have money for batteries, which is like, well, don't. Game Boy was much more my speed because it did not eat batteries like candy. I used to, I played uh, Wario Land a little bit. I don't know if I ever finished this one. I guess I just didn't really get into it as much as the other uh, Mario games. The rest are hiding here somewhere. Um, let's see. Sonic Triple Trouble, again, same problem with the Game Gear eating batteries. And here's the box for Tales Adventure. And then, like, one of the few Japanese games I got was the Sailor Moon R. I believe it's like a half fighter game, half uh, story mode kind of game. There was a comic book store near my house and they also had a video game store and they would sell Super Famicom games. This was one of the few ones I bought. It was this one and then I had a fighting one and I don't know where that one went to. And here's my trusty Game Boy, the old school, with Tetris still stuck in it because literally I played that game until I saw the shapes everywhere. That was, <laughs> it was just one of those things. And bonus points for my old Darkwing Duck um, electronic game. And this thing had the worst sense of turning on. You would accidentally brush the buttons and it would blast the sound across the room. You're like, oh no, I'm gonna get in trouble, <laughs> trouble. But it was Darkwing, so I had to have it because Darkwing was my favorite show on Earth. And um, I do probably have a few more like I said, the Nintendo games, I'm not sure where they went. I don't own a lot of video games. When I was younger, we were not well off. And so, you know, 40 to $60 for a cart was like crazy. And I think the only Sega Genesis game I had, not Sega Genesis, Sega CD aside from Spinball, which I don't know where it is from here. It's here somewhere. Was that Night Trap thing that got banned because there, I guess there was simulated rape or something I don't know it was baloney and everyone was freaking out about video games corrupting our kids but I thought you'd like a look into some of the things I have I don't have a lot but I love the things I have talk to you later guys bye